Game of Thrones is is over? No! Hey Game of Thrones fans, Comfire Nate here to talk about is it possible that Littlefinger knows about the true parentage of Jon Snow? Now I know you're all freaking out saying, oh the show's over, what are we gonna do? It's okay guys, we're here, we're here for you. We're gonna be giving you videos all the way up until the show comes back on. So relax, calm down, take a breath. Phew. Why in the world do you think that Littlefinger could possibly know this stuff? Well, I'm gonna go down a couple reasons why. Now you gotta keep in mind here, remember who Littlefinger is, okay? Littlefinger, that's his business, to know other people's stuff. One of Varys' little birds. Now look, there, that one belongs to the queen. And do you see that scepter pretending to read her book? Larissa the queen. No, she's one of mine. Okay, he goes out of his way to know everyone's dark secrets. That gives him his power. That's what makes him who he is. So with that being the case, you can know he knows what to look for with other people. He knows to look for things that are going on that he thinks is suspicious and then be able to probe. Take for example, he knew about, um, he knew about Renly's and Loris's relationship. And tell me, Lord Renly, when will you be having your friend? Okay, that, I mean, obviously that was a little bit more out there, but he was able to figure that out. He knew that before it was a big deal. He also knew what was going on with Joffrey before Ned figured out that they were not uh, Robert's kids. After that, you might want him to visit a certain armorer in the city. He lives in a large house at the top of the Street of Steel. Why? I have my observers, as I said, and it's possible that they saw Lord Aaron visit this armorer several times in the weeks before his death. Now that we know that Littlefinger has the means and ability to find out people's dark secrets, let's move to our next point. Why would he be interested in the bastard son of Ned? And why would he care? He loved Catelyn. I've loved you since I was a boy. He's already made this point very clear. He loved her and loved everything about her, so he would be interested in anything that could possibly cause a rift between them because he's trying to get with Catelyn. As soon as Ned Stark come back with this baby, Littlefinger would have done everything in his power to find out all he could about this situation. I mean, this is a stain on the reputation of the Honorable Ned Stark to sleep with somebody and bring back a baby? Please, Littlefinger would have been all over this. This is a, a chink in the armor of Ned, if you will. And if Littlefinger would have found out the truth, if he did find out the truth, then that knowledge at this point in time would not help him or assist him uh, accomplish his goal. Okay, now here's the breadcrumbs that he would follow. All right, take this for example. The handmaidens that were there, after you know, now that we've seen it, the handmaidens that were there at the birth of John, um, what is John, uh, what is Ned gonna do with them? You think he's gonna kill these people? No, he's not just gonna kill them and say, get out of here. So there's somebody, A, who knows what happened, knows where this baby came from. Um, there's also Hal and Reed. Alan Reed also knows about it, even though at this point he's not, you know, been in the show, but his kids have. So we know that Alan Reed does exist, and it's possible that he could have got the information from Alan Reed. Now, also take into account that he's going to notice the few things here. One is that there were Kingsguard that were missing, that weren't with Rhaegar when he died, and the fact that he put so much effort into protecting what was there. Okay, for us, it's you know, these are the clues that we led to get to the conclusion. But at the same time, these are the kind of clues that Littlefinger could have followed as well. You know, what is going on? What is so important there that he's willing to put these people there to protect? Okay, this is something that Littlefinger would have noticed. All right, let me jump in on some of these breadcrumbs too. We also know that Littlefinger was present when Rhaegar presented a flower to Lyanna at a tournament at Harrenhal and not his wife. I saw her once. I was a boy living with your mother's family. Lord Went held a great tourney at Harrenhal. Everyone was there. The Mad King, your father, Robert Baratheon, and Lyanna. She was already promised to Robert. When Rhaegar won, everyone cheered for their prince. Remember the guys laughing when he took off his helmet and they saw that silver hair, how handsome he was, until he rode right past his wife 
Elia Martel, and all the smiles died. I've never seen so many people so quiet. He rode past his wife, and he lay a crown of winter roses in Liana's lap, blue as frost. How many tens of thousands had to die because Rhaegar chose your aunt? Yes, he chose her. And then he kidnapped her and raped her. Pause the video right here. Look at that look that he gives. He obviously has his own ideas about this matter. Now, add all of that up with the statement that he made in the season finale to Sansa. Who should the North rally behind? A true-born daughter of Ned and Catelyn Stark, born here at Winterfell? Or a motherless bastard born in the South? Now, he is trying to put that proverbial wedge in between Jon and Sansa, but the way that he says it, it makes me think that what he really wants to say is, John is not who you think that he is. Littlefinger always holds his cards close to the chest, all right? Let's take a look back at when Ned asked Littlefinger to help him expose Joffrey. The king has no true-born sons. Joffrey and Tommen are Jaime Lannister's bastards. So when the king dies... The throne passes to his brother. Lord Stannis. So it would seem. Unless... There is no unless. He is the rightful heir. Nothing can change that. And he cannot take the throne without your help. You would be wise to deny it to him and to make sure Joffrey succeeds. Do you have a shred of honor? You are now Hand of the King and Protector of the Realm. All of the power is yours. You need only reach out and take it. Make peace with the Lannisters. Release the imp. Wed your daughter to Joffrey. We've plenty of time to get rid of Stannis, and if Joffrey seems likely to cause problems when he comes into his throne, we simply reveal his little secret and seat Lord Renly there instead. We. See, Littlefinger knows, first of all, he doesn't even overreact to the, to the bombshell that just got dropped. And as a matter of fact, he already has a plan to keep Joffrey as king because I feel like he could probably be more manipulative. Now, also, he has this little nugget of information to hold over his head. So he doesn't go and blab when he gets this information. He's already planning on holding it and using it as a trump card, if you will. You know, in a... We will make... Westeros... Great again! ...kind of way. Now, pay attention to the type of look that Littlefinger has at the end of the, the finale, right after Jon is announced King of the North. Yeah, that look right there, that is, it's time. Now, I don't believe that Littlefinger is just gonna come out and tell them who Jon's parents are if he has this information. I think he'll just, you know, use it to drop hints, kind of like, Oh, are you really sure that John had Ned's blood running through him? Are you sure that it's really Ned's? Like, it might be stuff like that just to put some doubt there with Sansa to kind of cause some friction. That would be my thoughts anyway. Anyway, guys, that's the video we have for the day. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought about this video. And do you think Peter Baelish, Littlefinger, knows the information that R plus L equals J? Until next time, guys, we out.